If you're looking for a full body workout with a local connection, we've found it. You may have used a water rower before, but did you know they're made right here in Rhode Island? Take a look as we bring you behind the scenes of the manufacturing of these popular pieces. The original machine was designed by a guy called John Duke, who was a Yale Lawsman and went on to row for the US national team. He settled in Rhode Island in the, uh, in the late 80s and uh, put his heart into developing a rowing machine. And the water rower is a product that came out of it. The water rower made waves when it was patented in 1988. Back in the early days, we were selling a few hundred a year. Boy, have things changed. Now we're doing 400 a day, so it's uh, grown orders of magnitude. 200 people on site now, back in the late 90s, 98, when we brought John out, we had one and a half employees, one manager and half a half a workshop guy. We like to think that we've actually led some of that boom by having a nice aesthetic machine that people like using that's not harsh and mechanical and uh, pressing into the commercial market and the boutique fitness market, Orange Theory Fitness, City Row. Did he say Orange Theory? I knew these machines looked familiar. It truly is a full body workout. It works 84% of your muscle groups, everything from the tips of your fingers to your tips of your toes and all the muscles in between are contributing when you're pulling the rowing stroke and what that does it means that it creates a great exercise benefit for, for little perceived exertion that means more gain for less pain in essence there's something so soothing about the water element rowing for 20 to 30 minutes will really make you sweat and it doesn't take much longer to assemble the rower itself about two to three hours and it all happens here a lot of people drive past these manufacturing buildings and they're pretty nondescript. They don't really jump out at you, and, but in behind those walls, there's a lot of activity. Over 200 workers are busy sawing, staining, and even spraying materials. It is handmade. I mean, that's what we want to focus on. Some of the more tedious and health and safety issues that we've removed and mechanized, there's still a lot of hand content. Hand sanding, hand finishing, hand assembly. It is a handmade product. That's how we promote ourselves. We do a variety of different woods. We do ash and walnut and cherry with the three starting woods and now beech and maple and oak and then we do a lot of different finishes and stains even the all metal machines that you see in orange theory we do in a variety of different colors as you'll see in the showroom which is full of rowers from over the years rowing is a nice long stroke so I reach for my hand and the sequence is arms body then legs then legs body arm that's it great we were talking before about the dynamic of a boat if you want to move the boat faster and you need to put in more energy right, so okay. put in more energy and you see as that happens your speed picks up and the exercise benefit changes so. sparking millions around the world to hop on strap in and start rowing it's awesome to see how they're made now because you're creating the resistance with the into the exercise the water rower is able to adjust to pretty much anyone using it, whether it be a child or a grandparent. The water rower has taken off not only here, but worldwide. In fact, 65% of what's manufactured by unit sales is exported to places like Taiwan, Germany, Australia, China, and New Zealand.